Hi, this is Ginger Cook, and I'd like to invite you to paint this, what we call a figurative abstract with me. And I'm doing this as a, in a collaboration with um, my uh, friend and artist who I great, greatly admire on YouTube, and his name is uh, Ray Grimes. And what I like about his artwork is he does these beautiful abstracts, and they're all about color. And this particular abstract is a, what we call a figurative abstract, and then obviously you can see a person in there. And I'm going to... I designed this as you watch. How I painted this, I had no idea what I was going to paint. I decided I was going to start off with some sort of person. That's about as far as I got. I was going to have some sort of person. And we had a challenge where we could only use uh, cad yellow medium, uh, black and white, of course. And uh, we picked three colors. I picked cad yellow medium, uh, phthalo uh, blue, and cad red medium, which I put back in the... Where's my cad red medium? Hang on a second. Where'd that go? Yeah, here. All right, cad red medium. Those were the colors that we would use. But we then I went and did a color chart with those, and then also black and white. And I didn't do any black in any of these. Those were just with this before I added the black. And you can see that that's not. See, it's interesting that that's this is what I came up with, and uh, doing this painting, and. The collaborations are fun because it introduces you to other artists on YouTube that are very interesting, do different things, and his audience introduced a little bit to me, and so we all get to kind of, you know, kind of expand our, you know, our uh, artistic experience on YouTube. And this is a 10 by 10 canvas, and again, you're going to watch me just step by step uh, put this in, and at some point I'm just sort of mixing all these colors. Can you imagine just with this? This is what my palette looked like at the end of it, you know. So that, again, not a lot of mixing, but s certainly um, as it started to evolve, and I really just knew I was going to start with the face and something else. It started to remind me of my sister, who um, who has since passed away. But she was three years older. And she had some problems with the baldness. She was alopecia. She was losing her hair. And she was always wearing these crazy hats and wigs and stuff. And this really reminds me of my sister. So it's sort of a, so I'm going to call this a portrait of Jeannie. And I hope you enjoy painting it. Thank you. Okay, so you're going to just to help me design this, we're going to design this one together. You'll have seen what it looks like already because I always shoot the intros last, but I've decided I'm going to do a square canvas. Uh, verticals don't show up very well in the thumbnail on YouTube, and I thought this would be a good way to do it. Now, we've got this, the challenges were limited to these three colors plus black and white. So I've got black here, and then I've got a flow white, and also I've got some... Uh, let's see, what is that? Yeah, there's my white, okay? And I've got some um, titanium white here, so I'm not going to put little tabs out for these colors. But white, cad yellow medium, phthalo blue, and cad red medium. Those are my three colors plus black and white, okay? So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to take this 10 by 10 canvas and I'm going to sand it. As soon as I can see, where did my little sandpaper go? It's just very rough. <clears throat> I'm just going to sand it like that. Wow, well, this one's a particularly rough this canvas. Well, that's better. Wow, that was a really rough canvas. And I'm going to take a little water. I'm going to mist the back of the canvas like this. I'm going to just put my arm in white paint. I love it. Okay. You just hold it up. It squirts a little easier if it's an upright. Okay. Now, one thing I've done is I've made myself a color chart without using black of all the colors. These are the different shades of colors I can make with those colors. I can make all these colors with those. So that I'll put out of the way. Okay. Now, what I want to do is just cover the canvas, and I've got a slight sketch of what I'm going to be doing. 
So what I'm going to do now is cover the canvas, going to make one color and just get myself a base for everything else. So let's see, I'll probably take a palette knife. I'm going to start with white, get this little chalk out of the way. And I think I want to start with white and um, maybe a little cad red medium. Okay, and a little bit of orange, yellow, and make kind of a, I don't know, kind of a cream color, background color, like that, almost a flesh tone. That's pretty. Okay, and I'm going to take a little bit of black and put in it. Now, normally you don't see me use black, but since this was, the, you know, Ray said that was the one of the things we could do, I'm going to show you what happens. We're going to tone that down a little bit like that. Just tone this canvas down. So there we go. All right, now this is going to be our background color for this. Now I want a fairly large brush. Let me just put our paint tubes out of the way. Oh my God, I can get, oh here, this is good. This is a uh, nice, bright, short handled brush. It's a number 12. I'm going to dip it in water, wipe it off on a towel, come in here like this, and I'm going to just go ahead and paint the whole canvas in, um, in uh, this sort of neutral, almost skin tone paint. You see, it's almost the color of my hand, isn't it? So everybody says, how do you make skin tones? Well, that certainly is one way, isn't it? For the skin tone color. All right. That's nice. All right, here we go. Sometimes you can have what we call a limited palette, and I think people don't realize that you're really not that limited. People say, well, I would paint this, but I don't have the right color. But learning to mix colors is very important. And let's just straighten this out so we don't have any lumps. Now, as long as I'm doing this at this point, I would just go ahead and do the sides of the canvas, too, because this color um, is our base, like that. So if you want to, this is when you would do that, just at the very end. Okay, like that. There we go. Like this. Okay, so now I'm going to say that there's something up here too. All right, so we painted that. All right, now what we have to do is just dry and pause and dry the whole canvas and really well. All right, so I'm going to do that now. Okay, so this is dry. Now I'm going to take my sketch. And I, 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 this was not square, obviously, when I did the sketch. So I'm going to have to, I wanted to make this sketch a little bit squarer, like this. Now look at that. Okay, so then what would I have to change in my sketch to make this work? Well, I have to bring the head down like this, maybe. Okay, so I'm, I can see where, just even on here, I can just, uh, you know, start again. So, all right, so I figured out I'm going to have to come here like this, and let's see, well, let's, that's not going to show up for you guys. Let's see, i got a darker piece of charcoal somewhere. Yeah, here. Okay, so I'm going to just come down here like this and make this sort of, you know, V-shape for the head. You know, it's just almost like a shield. You see that? Just kind of, kind of come like this. And now we're going to start um, breaking up the shape around here like that. And now abstracts, you know, if, if it isn't a realistic portrait, but you can, it's just called a figurative abstract if it still counts, okay? So, and then we're going to say that we're going to just suggest a mouth and like this, okay? All right. Now I've got, this is what I've got so far, okay? Now this is my palette of colors. This is what I can mix, all these colors. Okay, pretty much can see them all just like that, really, for all the colors that I can do. So let's let's go from there. I think I'll just start with the get this out of the way now. Okay, so just want to keep out the colors I'm going to use. All right, so let's just start off with a brush and play with it. You know, I have no idea. I just probably should have done this in colored pencil first, but I think this will be fun. This will be bright and colored. Now the first thing we got to ask ourselves. This is going to be a predominantly warm or cool painting. I think it's going to be predominantly warm, or rather cool, with some warm tones. Okay, that's my thought. All right, so, so far I've got this um, 
we're going to make some more of this color. And you can see I'm already out of white. Did you see how fast the white just disappeared? We put quite a bit of white out here. A little bit of white. And um, cad, cad medium, a little bit of cad yellow medium. Make this sort of orange color. Like that. And I'm going to come in here like this. This side of the face. And I'm going to make this... Let's going to paint that in there. Now this is where I think what I'm going to want here is a little retarder. I've got a fan blowing and I don't like that, so I'm going to put a little retarder out here. Mix that into the paint. There you go. Is this, there we go. Just a little bit like that. Yeah, that okay, that's better. Okay, so I'm going to say this is coming down here like this. Now it's this half of the the head, okay, like that, I like that. Now, what else do I want? I'm going to take a little bit of white and put with that a little tiny bit of black. Make this more of a kind of a darker orange color. This gray color here, and put that right down here like that. Now these are just all shades of this uh, these colors. Just all these shades you can get, and I think that's kind of fun. We did that before with the Monet, where we just used these three colors, and we got something else completely different. Okay, and so let's come down here like that. All right, let's bring that up here like this. Now what? Okay, I'll switch brushes. That's just a quarter-inch bright brush. I'm going to switch brushes, put that out of the way. Oh, this is a good one. This is a Bristol on number. Uh, you, you can't go by the numbers on things, you guys. It's a number eight, but every brand is different. See, it's just about as wide as my thumbnail. Does that make sense? A little bit longer. Yeah, so the bright brushes are squared off. All right, so I'm going to take some white color paint and a little blue, make this bright blue, and add a little black to that. Tone it down, almost this kind of grayed blue color, like that. And I want to come, let's see, I think I want to come around here, like there's a little bit more black in that. I'm going to gray this blue up here. I'm going to come around here like this and start putting in these colors right like that down here at the bottom. That's kind of cool I'm doing that. All right. Make sure I've covered everything. Now, this is going to be layered. This is, this is not a fast process, you guys. I'm going to layer some stuff here and um, let's see, let's take a little bit of yellow with that now. Let's add a little, make that kind of an olive green and might come up here like that. Now, so all I did was add yellow to this color. I've got this green color now. Let me come back and see, where's my retarder? A little tiny bit of that just on the brush and mix it in. There you go. That's just sort of smoothing this out a little bit. Okay, I'm going to paint that. Again, we're just uh, just layering in some colors at this point. I'm just layering in all the different colors I can make. Just the different ones. I'm going to get going here. And I think people are often surprised what you end up with when you start off with something like this because it's... Um, it's a matter of built, you just really what you're doing is you're really building things. You know, that's what you're trying to make here is you build. So here's a little bit of yellow, a little bit of cad red medium, a little tiny bit of black. I've got this sort of dark color. That's pretty. I'm going to come over here like that and put this dark kind of gold color in right back over here like this. Start putting in some colors. I like that. Maybe I'll put that up here too. Yellow, orange, there you go. Now yeah, it's a little bit of black in it. Kind of turned it almost sort of a, a saddle color. Okay, if I wanted more of a saddle color, I could add white. Now here's the thing, I'm not making a coloring book, so I'm going to start, you can watch as I mix this, but I'm going to start adding these colors to this as I go. 
All right. So at some point on a lesson like this, you just kind of have to watch and see what I'm doing. I'm not going to tell you everything I'm doing as I do it because you can kind of see it. Okay, I'm just going to start pulling in these colors. All right. And I'm not sure, you know, how I'm going to be doing that. See, so. Um, Yeah, and that's just light yellow. I'll tell you how I mixed some of the colors. I've added some white and black to the edge aluminium. Put that up here like this. Okay. Kind of like that. And um, a little bit of white to this. Um, Okay, so far so good. Now a little bit of white to this color here. Abstracts are one of those things where you've got to let your imagination go a little bit. Kind of, it's not, you know, when you say step by step, it's not, it's less that than um, you'd think. This is where knowing how to blend colors, knowing how to put your colors in, will make a big difference. Um, knowing when to dry in between layers will make a big difference. So far we haven't dried anything yet.
black and cad red medium make a very, very nice dark brown. Did you guys know that? At some point, I'm going to have to to dry something. All right, so we're going to just stop right here and dry everything. Okay, so we've um, we've dried this. Now we're going to start adding a little bit more detail. Add here, come down here like this. So just a nose. Just a very small mouth right here, kind of like that. A tiny brush, little zero brush, little detail brush. I'm going to add a little bit of this bright color here. Okay. Now, that's good. So far so good, I'll rinse the brush out there like that and see what else I can put in. Okay, so here's our, start finishing this up here. It's a very different kind of an abstract, one you would maybe not think about. The orange, the yellow here. Okay, I want that. Now it doesn't have to make sense. We're just putting colors now. We're suggesting something, but we're not putting colors. Does that make sense? We're just putting colors at this point. This is what our figurative abstract is doing. We're putting colors and, um, and just enjoying the sense of color and the fact that these colors are all really pretty together. Um, some yellow, white, kind of a pale green color. I like that color a lot, right? So I might want this color somewhere. Let's see. I 
I can get away with this because it's dry now. If I tried to do this before, I would have been hard pressed to get that to happen. This is where the layering comes in. Trust me, the black would have turned that color all muddy and green. Very bizarre. Okay. And, uh, let's see. That's pretty. I don't want to get too, sometimes just because you can do a lot of colors doesn't mean you should do a lot of colors. Does that make sense? You can do a lot of colors, but do we want to do a lot of colors? Oh, you know what this looks like to me? I'm going to just, I have fun with this. It's almost like an ink blot test. You know what I mean? It just, well, all right, so here's a little bit of black now. Come through here like this. I'll have to dry after I do the black, okay? Um, Okay, I'm liking that. You know what I want to do. I'm kind of making this up as I go, right? All right, so now that's about all I want to do there. I think I want to do something else with the blue, so I've got a little bit of blue and white. Maybe a little bit of yellow in it, make like a little turquoise blue. That's a nice, I like this nice color blue down here. Let's see. Ooh, I like that color. Nice. Okay, liking that. That's nice. Put some more white with that. Remember, acrylics dry darker. Okay. And, uh, ooh, that's so pretty. I love that color. Where else do I want to put it? Part of me wants to stick it. Just put a little bit of it in there because I think I might like it. Just, there you go. And now I'm just playing with color. Now what? Well, sometimes in abstracts it doesn't hurt to have, you know, have that. Uh, it might work on the, just take that little brush and work on the mouth a little bit better. Just a tiny bit better. Just want to do that. Just maybe exaggerate the mouth just a little bit more like this. There, okay. Come up this way.
Okay, that, that's cool. Now I like that. So how about if I had some brighter orange, little patches of it. Right there, that's that pure cad red medium. Like that. I like that idea, and I like this idea too. Okay. So now what else could we do? Don't think I want to bring any orange up there. I don't want I want all the orange to be kind of in this area right here. Okay. That's great. I'm liking that a lot, and I don't know, even, couldn't even tell you why. We're making this up, you're just kind of watching me make this up, because I'm painting it, because I'm just, for me it's all about the color. You know, it's nice that we've got some sort of picture here. This almost looks like a horse, doesn't it? I mean, how simple it would be to just, you know, turn that into a horse or something. That's the one of the hardest part about, you know, doing some sort of abstracts, is that sometimes the temptation to make something, you know, a figurative abstract is, you know, to just, you know, put some ears or turn it around and make it a horse, but we don't want to do that. You know, that may look like a horse to someone else, but that's okay. So we're going to kind of stop there. Now, um, the question is, do we need to dry this again? Here's just some black. We're just going to put it up here like that, connect that. Take some black here, because we have we had some brown in this. Again, we're kind of layering it. Okay, like that, I like that. Okay. And I think I want to run this one. Something like that. Okay, so there we go. Maybe a little bit of black up here. Not sure I like that. So, alright, we're going to dry and start again. Keep going. Okay, so I decided that I'm going to bring a shadow across here. And, um, since everything's dry, I'm going to use a, I think I want one of these green colors. Like that. A little tiny bit of black in it. Tone that down. And, uh, let's see, I'll just put some of that up in here to see if I want to, want to introduce that color. That, that's not, I'm going to introduce that color somewhere. Okay. That, that's an interesting color. I almost could introduce it right here. Okay, maybe over even here, that's an interesting color to put. Put a little of that down there, okay? Alright, so that so far I'm liking all the colors, so I don't know that I want... So when you want to do something that's kind of out of the ordinary, what you got to do is, when you're this far, I'll show you a trick. carrying on in the background here. So I want to introduce a little bit of color right here, okay? Right like that. I'm going to say that I want some color right about here, okay? That's what that's where I'm going to color that off. Well, that's good, actually. I kind of like that. All right, so I'm going to say that there's some color I want right there, okay? Just about like that. And um, there's something, yay, about yay, okay? So and maybe I want it less, maybe I'll want it more like this, raise it up a little bit. Yeah, maybe I'll have it up there. 
But I want that color there. So I'm going to just make a color. Maybe in the greens and blue, I want a little blue in it. A little bit of white. Okay, a little bit of yellow. More white. I'm going to go ahead and paint the color on that I think I might like on my paper. Okay. And um, let me just dry that with the hair dryer. And I'm going to just put that right there. And uh, let's see, this is kind of about where I want it. And I'll just kind of fold that like this. So I want this color right about there. Okay, so I like that. That's nice. Let's, uh, let's try a different color. Let's try maybe yellow and white and, and cadmium medium. Let's try a little bit darker. Let's, let's see, let's try maybe a tiny bit of black with that. Make sort of this darker beige color. I'm just going to see what that would look like. I'm just going to test that right there, those tones. I like that right there. No, but you know what? I like that tone right here, though. I might put some of that color right down in here. Let's see. Maybe a little more white with that. Okay. Okay, I like that there. That's nice. But I don't... I'm not a big fan of that. Okay, so... We're going to go back to the this color. Now I have a third option, which we could try. Let's see what that would look like. Let's try a little bit of white and yellow. Try a little bit of black with that. Just almost a gold, a little bit of black with cad yellow medium. Let's just see what that would look like. Over here. I might like that. That's a toss up for me between the green and the, uh, let's see if I like that. All right, we don't we like that, or do we like this? Combination of those. No, it's got to be one or the other. i got to pick one. So, I could say, I like this. Whoops. I don't like that. Hmm. Nope, we're going for the green. All right, but that's, but I like that color, so... But I like it somewhere else. I don't like it there, but I like a little bit of it down here. Nope. I don't want any of that over there. Any of that here. Maybe. We'll keep that color in mind. In the meantime, we're going to go with this, with this green shadow color. Okay, there we go. Said it was kind of this, right? Where'd that thing go? Right. Okay, so we're going to come around here like this. I'm going to put the black over it, so I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, now I definitely like that. And remember, this is abstract. It doesn't have to look like a real person. These are just suggestions. This is a... This is a all about color. This is all about doing this three color challenge. All about color. I like that. And maybe I'd like some of it a little slightly darker. It doesn't all have to be the same. So just because I started with one color, I can darken it up somewhere too. Well, that's nice. Ooh, pretty.
Okay. I'm liking that. About done here, you guys. About done. Now, let's see. I think I said we kind of like that gold color a little bit, didn't we? But not too much. So where we're going to introduce that it would be very little of it. We would want to introduce and maybe back up. Not very little of this color we're going to introduce if we're going to keep that in here at all. Okay, so I kind of like that. And if I had that there, I might want to be tempted to put some of it right here. And don't ask me why, but maybe some of it would go there. Um, you're going to ask me why, though. I don't know, because I kind of thought it would be good. Nothing too bright yellow, right, like that. But that is pretty, so if I put that there, then part of me wants to put a little of that sticking out of here like that. Um, okay, so, we've got this, got that, and I haven't really used any white, have you seen that? So if we start putting white places, We want a little white anywhere. Um, could add a little white somewhere. It's kind of still kind of nice. Okay. I'm going to pause and dry everything. I, I think if I was going to do white there, I've got to clean that up a little bit. That looks a little, um, kind of like just, yeah, let's just clean this up. There, okay, so that white was a little bit too much there. Let's take a little of this gold and white and black color. Remember, you should write down how you make these so you can make them again. A little orange in that. There you go. Blue too much. Okay, a little bit of this color. I'm going to write down how you made some of these colors here. Okay, all right, better. Uh, okay, nice. Okay, so I'm liking that. I'm liking this. Might want to just break this up a bit right here. We can make this really complicated. I'm telling you what, we can make this one complicated thing. And let's see, a little bit of orange and white makes sort of like this peach color. All right, which I thought was pretty. I think we had a little bit of that under here like this. Don't come in that way. That way. Well, a little bit more orange here, right here. A little bit brighter orange. Okay. And a little bit brighter orange right here. I like that up here like this. A bit brighter orange here and maybe here. Just to bring some lights and darks up there somewhere. Okay. I don't like that, so I'll take it out with a little bit of black. Okay. Now, I think what I probably I want to do is break this up now. Maybe with the okay. And over here, I'm going to break this up. up here a bit. Okay. Yeah, let's see where else would I want some little Okay, and let's see, maybe I want that a blue. So we're playing here now. Let's just change that to blue. Okay, good. Alright, so that's working for me. And uh Oh, 
Alright, now what? What else could I do that would be just really kind of cool? Kind of like the yellow and the orange here that we had. Maybe it got to put some more yellow out. I've used up all my colors. A little yellow, lots of bright, kind of a light orange color. I like this bright orange color right here. So we'll brighten this up right there. Yeah, want that. Definitely want to see that right there, like that. I probably should take a minute and dry stuff because I'm getting into the wet black. Okay, so I like that brighter orange color. Where else could I put it? Um, this way. Definitely could have a bit of that over here. Playing with color now, just playing with color. Where else would I want it? Turquoise blue and orange are compliments, so I'm playing with a little bit of that. Okay, I'm going to dry it and look at that and see if there's anything else I want to do that I'm going to change. I'll probably do a little bit something right here under the chin and we'll see what we got. Okay, so I got to looking at this and I decided to take some white and add, like, just suggest uh, a white band and it, this sort of has sort of evolved into a hat like that with maybe a ribbon coming off like that. And uh, did a little bit of a white accent here, don't want to overdo the white like that on her chin. Kind of did a little bit of red right there. Add a little bit more orange in here, in here, and up in the hair, just a tiny bit. Remember, acrylics dry darker. So what you have to do with sometimes with something like this is just um, stand back and look at it. And this may not be your cup of tea, but I, I think this is a very, very nice example of... Now remember, we just used three colors. We just used cad red medium, phthalo blue, white, and, and, and cad yellow medium, and just white and black. And... Look at all the colors that we got into our painting from that. We've got the gold. We've got some, you know, some different yellows. And I haven't used pure yellow. I want you to see that. Here's some, here's pure yellow. We haven't used any of that. I didn't, didn't find it necessary to, you know, take, you know, dot some yellow on, you know, just come back here and, you know, maybe do a few little bright dots of yellow. Just want you to see that. Just, you know, part of me says, what would happen if I did it? One little dot of yellow right there. I mean, you know, I could do that. I mean, I don't know if that adds anything or takes it away, but I'm just saying that I really haven't used all the, I've, all these colors have been just slightly muted, which is kind of cool, isn't it? And when you think about it, and, you know, it's just, it's, could be any person in, um, anywhere, you know, any lady, anywhere. It doesn't have to be any one person. We don't put the eyes on. You could put eyes on if you wanted, but I didn't want to do that. Just as an abstract, just a flow of colors, and we're sort of suggesting that there's a person there, um, you know, which is kind of cool. I mean, I still like the blue right next to the orange like that. You know, I mean, I think that's really pretty. Anytime you start throwing blue next to orange, because that's a complement on the color wheel, it's opposite itself on the color wheel. So that gets a little sneaky, but I mean, I think that's really, that's a pretty color. Where else could I put that? That's almost an electric blue, isn't it? You just put that up there like that. Well, part of me just want, oh, I like that color. There you go. So see, yeah, I, could, I could sit here and play with these colors all day because there's, I think they're so nice. Just a little bit there like that. So anyway, you guys, that's our... Um, I don't want to start. If I put it down here, then it would lose the surprise. This is almost like color surprise when you do it. Just peer out of the tube. I'm going to just take a moment and, uh, you know, I will sign it. And um, I think I have a pen around here somewhere. Let me just take a second to find my pen. And I'm going to sign this, and I'm done. And I hope that, uh, you know, when you get to watch uh, Ray's uh, abstracts, you know, he's doing it differently, but they're all... He's celebrating color, and that's what I'm doing with this. And this is sort of um, this is a style of painting that we see uh, you know, that we see these sort of abstract figures. I'm just 
um, where there's just a fake face but not a complete face, and it's all just sort of um, a compliments and warm compliment of cool color. We sort of suggest something happened here, but we didn't say it did. So hope you enjoyed this and. Uh, um, go check Ray's uh, abstract out too, I, and and you know I I think he's one of the new up and coming abstract artists of our time. I really like what he's doing, so I hope you give him a shout out. And thanks for watching, you guys, and uh, have have a great day. This is Ginger saying, uh, you know, check out our other videos, and check, uh, you know we've got a few other abstracts. We've got an abstract playlist. Check out and see what we got going here. Bye. <laughs>